We met Dawson two years ago at Dag's house, a dog rehab facility on the West Bank. With a bullet stuck in his back, this beautiful Doberman was adjusting to life in his wheelchair. Today, Dawson flourishes. His love of tennis balls and running have not changed. But what has is the bullet that paralyzed him has been removed. Since his surgery, Dawson has been in intensive rehab, three to four hours a day to build his muscles. It's a lot of work. There he goes. Stacy Chasson of Dag's House has worked with him extensively, massaging his atrophied, twisted leg and working to straighten his paw. Dawson is endlessly patient, as if he knows all of this is for a reason. And he is getting stronger each day, adding two inches of muscle to his withered leg. Right now, what I'm doing is getting the leg and the forward range of motion. It is a mission for Stacy, who was in the operating room when the 22 caliber bullet was removed from his spinal column. Also on his belly side, we went in and took 20 cc's of fat and created stem cells. Dawson gets monthly shots of his stem cells, all part of the incredible effort to get him to walk again. If not, he'll live in his wheelchair. And as we all see, he's very happy and loves his wheelchair. But I would be even happier to get him out of it. Hey, J.E.J. Stacy is also working with Dawson's new best friend, Jake, who arrived three months ago in terrible shape. Jake, part Bassett, part Dalmatian, part everything, had been dragging his back legs around a farm in Mississippi. Kim Dudek, founder of Dag's House, got the call that Jake had been kicked by a horse. He arrived wrapped in a sheet, soaked in his own urine. I was holding him like a baby, and his leg went out like this. He had these massive sores because when a dog can't move his legs, but he was just dragging everywhere. X-rays couldn't prove he was kicked by a horse, but did show he was hit by a bullet. So once again, the same difficult and risky surgery to remove a bullet in his spine. That was seven weeks ago. I almost fell over the other day when I walked into Dag's house and he's in the treadmill just walking away with back, his back legs and his front legs. So I'm like, yes. Where's my legs? Where's my legs? Jake's daily rehab, like Dawson's, is to build up the muscle and work on his range of motion. But with less time paralyzed and less atrophy, Jake's prognosis is excellent to walk again. None of this would have happened if it hadn't been for the belief of one man, Dr. Hank Clematis, a well-known and beloved veterinarian who believes strongly that it was worth the risk to take the bullets out of the spinal columns of these two dogs so that they could have a better life. And that pretty much summed up the life of Dr. Hank. And Dr. Clematis did it strictly by heart. Only by heart. Dr. Hank Clematis spent a lifetime wanting only the best for animals. Anyway, he uh, did the research for the spine surgery and for the stem cell therapy. He assisted as Dr. John Moderer operated. Hank Clematis died 10 days ago. His loss is profoundly felt throughout the animal community. Dr. K has, has been in my life for a very long time. And to have, I mean, I feel so honored to have had the opportunity to work with him. For Jake and Dawson, the work and hopes of Dr. K live in them. They represent the progress in veterinary medicine and in the commitment to rehab that there can be quality of life after an animal has been injured. This is Angela Hill for Eyewitness News.